We train the whales is a position in which we would ask for voluntary blood samples. The whales are trained to roll ventrally or upside down and present us with their tail flukes. Not only does it give us a great look at their entire bodies, but it also gives us access to blood vessels, which are easily located on the white undersides of their tail flukes. Our veterinarians are able to take a voluntary blood sample at least once a month, and the whales are trained to remain relaxed throughout procedures like this. As trainers, you often see us rubbing down or massaging the whales, whether on their backs, their pectoral flippers, or even those tail flukes. Not only is that a great way for us to reward them for remaining calm, but it's also an excellent way for us to strengthen our relationships with the whales. Now, blood samples are just one of the ways we can make sure our whales are staying healthy. Another very important diagnostic is weighing our whales. And we are able to weigh our whales by asking them to slide their entire bodies up and onto a giant killer whale size scale, just like Katina showing with you guys today. Now, you may notice that a portion of Katina's body from her dorsal fin all the way to her tail flukes is still in the water. That's the powerhouse of a killer whale and it's called their peduncle and it's very heavy and very muscular. In fact, natural behavior that we see in all killer whales is the ability to lift that part of their body with such force they can turn completely around before re-entering the water. Now, in this scenario, if Katina's peduncle is still in the water, we would not be getting an accurate weight. So, to solve that problem, we ask our whales to raise their tails up and out of the water. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are vital, and we surprise and engage with our whales at every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt, and for the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Hello again, everyone. We're over here on the left hand side of the stadium down by the glass. Did you guys know that killer whales love to play? They actually learn a lot through playing and even learn through things like mimicry and observational learning. From a young age, killer whales learn a lot by playing games such as follow the leader with their mothers and other whales. And today we're gonna put that to the test with all of you and our killer whale family. Are you ready to have some fun? Awesome. So let's get inside of the stadium here up first. Everyone stand up. We're gonna play a game with killer whale follow the leader. All of you are leaders.